Join us as we unravel the mystery behind Muti. So Didi is a young enthusiastic lady all the way from a village in Limpopo, Amutapo. And she grew up surrounded by nature, loves nature, has always cherished it. Um, Didi went to high school at Peps Bolokwani College in the city of Bolokwani and now as a postgrad student studying botany at the University of Johannesburg. Hi everybody, today we're joined by two very special guests with us and they're going to unveil the mystery of Muti for us. And today we're joined by... Oh hi! I'm Nyamegedi Tongo Dlabati. I'm a Sangoma a photographer and a music maker. Yeah. Hello, hello, I'm Gogo Tule. I'm a Sangoma a traditional healer and uh, happy to be here. <laughs> so happy to have you. So, given that you guys are so useful and active in so many other elements in life, we just wanted to get you here and actually find out how it's like having this traditional calling and also maintaining modern life. So I just want to know, um, obviously when the calling comes to you, it comes at its own time. Yes. At what mental space were you guys when you actually received the calling? And mm. like, how did it change your life from what you were then and what you are now? Mm. Yeah, for me, I was in a state of, I guess, depression, um, disconnect, anxiety. Um, and it mostly just felt like something is missing, you know, and I didn't understand it and lived it, growing up in the states where this tradition is really not out yeah. there. It's like I didn't have any reference point. I didn't have any understanding. Um, I was just young and thinking that life is going to make sense at some point, but it's not. And for everybody else around me, it looks like it is. Um, so I felt very different. I felt very isolated. Um, and. So for me, it was just when I finally came across this, it was like, oh, it sense. It, it's something, you know, it, I'm not making this up. I'm not crazy. And, um, you know, I felt like something was more and it's not my imagination. There is more, a lot more. <laughs> you know, this is a whole world, um, a whole new world for me at the time. And so I, it kind of felt like a saving grace. <laughs> so you kind of felt like you found the missing piece, yeah. something that was missing. Absolutely. Me. Yeah, uh, the, the 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 part I think is it's just something that's always been there. You know, um, I've always been a person who dreamt a lot, and uh, when I was younger, I was I used to tell my dad my dreams, and and then suddenly some action would be happening where it sparked something for him. That's okay, we need to go and see this and that person, oh, okay. and so. It, but that was very minimal. That was now and then. But the main thing was that it's always. Uh, I I think I've always felt connected to something that I didn't really understand and at the same time it also came with a lot of melancholy with a lot of sadness with a lot of not know not feeling extra things that I shouldn't necessarily be feeling because everything's actually fine but feeling not fine all at the same time it's like a, it's just, it's just a, a weird position to be in and um, when I started searching and finding out that I possibly have the calling, it started making sense um, in that I could really feel that there is something else at work here. So I followed up from there because um, life was going all right at the point, but I was feeling emptier and emptier even though life was going and feeling disconnected like I didn't have a home. So once I got to enter the calling, it started answering some of that those calls I was trying to make. So I can and say it gave you a sense of fulfillment. Yeah, it, 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 it just, it, just it, it satisfied something. That's why, because it's like, it's like you, you're just yearning for this drink of water, but it's not normal water. It's this specific water that you need to drink and then it's going to be like, but not that everything becomes okay, but it's the, it's the like starting of a journey to, to, to do a mission that you don't even know, essentially. But it's, but it, it, but it's kind of like, it's 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 satisfying something. So you know you're on the right path. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm in the right path, but at the same time, open to realizing exactly what the path is. 
So I just want a touch of better on your backgrounds. So you grew up in a commonly Catholic background mm -hmm. and you were in the States. Yes. And you had a more liberal, I mean religious background and you were in South Africa. So you guys come on this journey for one mission, the calling. And I just want to know for you, Gogo um, how it is like um, having to break those stereotypes being of a Catholic uh, background mm. and being from the States for you to actually accept the calling to break the stereotypes and here you are today and you are known as the go go to. Yeah, um, it was definitely a transition mm -hmm. and it was difficult because it wasn't, at first it was like where is this coming from, you know, um, I wasn't raised with it, nobody talked about it so I know for my family it was like who is influencing you, you know, is this safe, is this manipulative, like where, where is this coming from, it, it felt like a surprise and a shock, um, so it definitely took time and at first, because it's such a vulnerable space, you know, for me, I'm learning something about myself that I didn't know about, so I can't articulate it fully, I can't explain it um, to make it makes sense for other people and what was beautiful is about this process is that you not only rely on yourself you're now on a journey to understand your guardians your ancestors your guides and so I learned how to trust them and it I saw a change in the people around me mm -hmm. without me forcefully having to say or do I had to just maintain what I knew that I needed to do you know whether or not people agreed whether or not they were accepting um, there was some pushback you know some disagreements yeah, yeah. Um, but I just had to be in, be quiet, be surrender, just trust, and um, and just be who I am. And I kind of it's funny because going through that process actually made me connect with religion. Because when I think about yeah. Jesus, for example, mm -hmm. he was a rebel. People didn't really understand him, but he just kept listening to God, he kept listening to the Spirit. And I felt like actually this traditional path has taught me how to be more Christ-like in a sense yeah. because I had to just do what I felt I was being guided to do despite what everything was happening around me. And you growing up in modern day Soweto, being surrounded by Western influences, you transitioning from that Western way to rural culture. How was that? How was that culture shock for you? Uh, for me, uh, you know, the, the main thing for me was that anybody who knew me knew me to be like in the township they'll call me like the English boy you know because my dad when we were growing up he wanted us to speak English and you know to be eloquent and to be able to to conduct ourselves in that way and it was suddenly I was the last person people thought would, would get the calling because people there's this um, stigma that if you get the calling you're this like just like you know, you're not a very intelligent person, and you are, um, and you are just like really basic, and you have nothing better to do, and that kind of thing, you know. So, I, for 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 me, in terms of society and and where I was growing up, that was the a bit of the weird thing, and uh, then going off to this, being sent off to this rural uh, uh, environment, this very, I'd say, a very natural environment by my ancestors, was just a, a kind of a beautiful way of bringing me into a path in a way that um, is away from everything else uh, that I know. Because uh, spaces, spaces need to be very sacred at certain times to do certain things. Yeah. And I think that was the beauty of me going to Lusigisigi and to the very rural parts of Lusigisigi.